how are you today today i'm going to prepare bendakaya pulsu so these are the ingredients for it we are going to take um, bendakaya which is also called bindi in hindi and uh, okra or lady's finger in english uh, i have uh, washed them and cut them into uh, pieces big pieces chopped onions some chopped onions and uh, some ginger garlic paste some tamarind juice so we are going to make the bendakaya pulsu in tamarind juice uh, this is um, some sugar some uh, uh, cumin powder some coriander powder some cumin seeds some mustard seeds some fenugreek seeds some uh, slit green chilies some red red chilies some uh, this is urad dal uh, what is called uh, menega pappu and some chana dal chana pappu so in spices we have some turmeric and some red chili powder and some salt that's it let's get started with the cooking here i've already heated the pan so i'm just adding 2 tablespoon of oil it that should be enough then i'll uh, let the oil to um, get heated a little so my oil is hot right now so i'm just going to add some cumin seeds and it some fenugreek seeds and uh, some chana dal that is chana ka pappu and some urad dal then i'll add those green chilies slit green chilies and then then i'll add some red chilies i'll just split them into half and drop them in the oil to this i'm just going to add a handful of onion chopped onion I'm just adding the curry leaves right now. You don't need to cook the onions till it's brown, just a little for 1 to 2 minutes and then we will add the okra. I've just cooked the onions for 1 minute. Now I'm going to add the okra, the bindi. just add a little bit of salt add uh, not more a little bit half a tea half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste After adding the ginger garlic paste, just cook it for some time on a slow flame. Then we'll add the coriander powder, the cumin powder. some um, red chili powder you can add it as per your taste how much heat you want so i added half a teaspoon and some turmeric powder i'm just going to add the tamarind juice right now
after adding the tamarind juice i'm just adding some water because i'm making a pulasu so i like to add a little more water in it um if you don't want it too watery you can just add less water that's it because we eat it with rice so i like a little uh, it a little bit watery so now we'll cover it and cook it for 4 to 5 minutes uh, till the bhindakaya or bhindi is cooked nicely now the bhindi has been cooking for past 6 minutes i have also been checking in between let's see if it's done or not yeah i think it's done so i'll just add some sugar in it and you can also taste if something is missing salt or something will come to know perfect i don't think i need anything else so yeah guys it's done this is bindakaya pulasu i'll just switch off the flame